iOS 18 is out. Yes, yesterday Apple launched iOS 18 and is now available to download in every device from the iPhone XS onwards. So yes, in today's video, I'm going to show you what are my favorite features and how to use them. So if you are excited, drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Whenever you first install iOS 18, you will get an hello greeting. So yes, after that, it will ask you if you want to share any type of information for your iPhone. And I clicked don't share, obviously. And you're ready to go, ready to use iOS 18. And yes, this year, Apple did really focus on customization, mainly on the lock screen and the home screen. Now they removed almost all the roadblocks that I had imposed and you are free to customize your iPhone. And when I say that they removed all the roadblocks, <laughs> trust me, they did. It's really easy. You just long press your screen, click on the edit button on the top left corner, customize, and you have several options. The light mode, dark mode, automatic, and theme. And all of these changes the theme of your icons. So as you can see, it's completely different. Currently, dark mode gives you a darker look to the icons and to the wallpaper. It looks great in my opinion. But of course, you can also give it an automatic, which will change from the day and night. And you can also choose the specific color you want using a color palette, which is pretty cool, or the sample feature from <laughs> these pipettes. It's insane. You can choose the colors you want from any type of spectrum, any type of wallpaper. You can color match to our wallpaper, which is great. So yes, I never seen this level of customization to the iPhone. You can really play with it and choose whatever color you want to. Some things will be ugly, some things will be very, very cool. There is only one word for this, freedom, freedom. If you want to remove your app logo name, it's easy. Just click edit, customize and choose the large version. This will make your icons larger and easier to look at, but will remove your icon text. So if you do prefer this look, then go for it. I think I want to use this look, but I will remove the color palette. I don't like it. I prefer the normal light color palette. So yes, I will have the large icons with the light color palette. I do believe this is my favorite configuration of my home screen. And yeah, it looks great. If you wanna create empty spaces on the home screen, now you can. You just simply remove all the apps that you don't want. You organize your widgets and you get this very cool empty space on the iPhone. This has been the first time available on any iOS upgrade. Only Android had this feature and I think it looks pretty cool. Let me know in the comments below what you think. But this new home screen layout looks great. These enlarged icons and the no text on the logo apps are great. I do really enjoy customizing my home screen. I do also like that you can put the apps wherever you want with no actual restrictions on the space that you want to have free. So if I only have one widget on this home screen with all the, <laughs> the page free, you are free to do so. So I really enjoy that. That's a great feature coming from Android. But here's the thing, you can customize your home screen to infinity. So show me yours on my Twitter account or even Instagram. Go check them out. If you wanna easily remove entire pages or managing all of your pages, switching positions of them, hiding them, really simple. Again, on the customizable menu, you simply click on edit pages and you can remove them automatically, full pages of icons, or you can hide them or show them. Pretty, pretty simple. And I think this will give you more freedom when customizing your home screen. I would take advantage of this feature simply to declutter your home screens. Lots of people out there have entire pages of apps they don't use. Use this and it will take me later. But it was not just the home screen that was redesigned. Control Center also has a new look for iOS 18. To see it is really simple. Just push down from the top right corner and you will see the new Control Center. But now you have several pages. If you continue to scroll down, you'll have several control centers. So now you have several pages that serve several purposes. If you want to have the main control center, you can have it. You can customize all the icons, choose it. You have the new very cool flashlight icon. This is insane. Apple redesigned this one and I really enjoy it. It's a new animation. You can move it forward. You can decide which direction the flashlight takes. So if it opens more or focus more in one point, this is quite weird. And yeah, it's pretty cool. So yes, new features for the flashlight. It's kind of a gimmick if you ask me, but I'm glad Apple added it. As far as the rest of the home screen, the new 
set settings menu, of course, it's customizably different. Now you have the Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi, the VPN, the satellite options, the personal hotspot, airplane mode, all of this is now customizable and accessible via the control center with the new menu. So before it was more difficult, less intuitive. Now you have more options, but you need to dig deeper. So I enjoy it. It's different, you need to get used to it. In the top left corner, you will have a plus button. And here you can add more customizable shortcuts for your control center. This is super cool. You can customize their size and their actions. So I do really love this feature. Now everything is customizable. <laughs> I think it's too much at the end of the day. But if you want to, you have it. Most people, I don't think, will anywhere touch this menu. Also, you can customize more pages, create more pages for different purposes, music pages, home pages. You can also add millions and millions of shortcuts to your control center. So now iOS is getting very, very powerful in terms of features, but for the average user, will you use this or do you think it's too cluttered? One cool feature that Apple added this iOS upgrade was the require face ID option for apps. So now you can lock your apps via a face ID lock. Before, only banking apps and other very, very sensitive information apps needed to actually add this to their software. But now Apple added it to iOS. So you can now lock your photos app, your camera app, your message app, everything that you want to lock, you just simply click require a face ID and it will require your face ID. And to undo this action, it will also require face ID. So this is pretty, pretty cool. You can also change the appearance of your apps into a widget, into a bigger widget. Now apps can turn into widgets and widgets can turn into apps if you want to. So lots of customization now on iOS. Play with it and let me know your comments below if you like it or not. For those of you that put privacy on top of your list, Apple now has a new cool feature, hide apps. Now you can hide your apps on a specific folder on the app library. Pretty simple. Just require face ID and click hide app. Now it will be available on this hidden folder on your app library. It will require face ID to open it and it will be there. It won't show you how many apps you have there. No, it's completely private. Only you will have access to it. One thing you need to keep in mind is not every app can be hidden. Only third party apps, no first party Apple apps can be hidden. I never thought that Apple would add some of these features. Most of them are cool, but this one, <laughs> this one is quite weird. What's not quite weird, but quite cool is now you can customize your shortcuts on the lock screen. Instead of having the flashlight, instead of having the camera, you can now choose whatever you want. You can remove the camera shortcut and add another shortcut. I'm not sure, maybe a timer, <laughs> I don't care. Just choose from this huge list of shortcuts available, you can add everything, anything that you want. It's so ridiculous that only we got this on iOS 18, but I'm glad we did. It's so powerful and super super useful. For example, I do really love Shazam. So I will add Shazam to my shortcut on my lock screen. And whenever I want to, I will click it instead of asking Siri to Shazam my music. No, I will simply push this button and boom, it's done. If you love to film video with your iPhone, then I advise you to put the black magic camera app on the right corner of your lock screen. Instead of having the normal camera app, put the black magic camera app there. And then whenever you want to film log footage, just click it and there it is, ready to shoot. The Photos app also suffered a big, big overhaul. And get ready guys, because this one, this one might piss some people off. Oh boy, here we go. Tech nerds, get ready. All of your family members will ask you how these new photo apps work. It will be very annoying for the next couple of months. But it's pretty simple. All of your photos and menus are now stacked up on top of each other. So you simply scroll down and you'll have all of your memories, all of your featured photos, all of your media types, utilities, albums, shared albums, everything. Everything will be now on the same page. You just need to scroll down. And if you scroll up, you'll have more options, years, months, all your photo library. But you can also filter now your photo library by screenshots, by videos, by photos, by edit photos, by favorites, or even all items, which is quite cool. So if you wanna only see videos or photos or no screenshots, you can do it pretty, pretty simple. If you only delete videos, if you only want to delete photos or screenshots, really simple now. You can also change the view options on your menu here. So click view option, you can zoom in, zoom out. You can also pinch in and pinch out, pretty simple. And you can 
like show no screenshots only show shared with you so quite easy to use you can change the grid the aspect ratio quite quite simple it does almost the same things almost no new features here but it looks different than before one thing that also looks different is when you click on a photo you will have a different menu system here it's a little bit different but it works the same way the edit button here takes you to the same edit page than before so no new big changes here if you know how to edit your photos you will still know how to edit your photos here other than that well it's a big big upgrade a big big change but mostly all the menus are not changed so it's a little bit more difficult to navigate in the beginning but after that you know how to use it so get ready guys you tech nerds you will need to take lots and lots of questions from now on and this new photos update that we just saw it's kind of controversial i'm not sure if i like it or not i will need more extensive use out of it but it's different and yeah it's a big upgrade to the photos app let's see if the older generations will adapt to it but yeah we need to wait for more feedback every year apple likes to kill some app or service and this year no different they added the passwords app and this was the last step they needed to add for the other password apps to die because now you have all of your passwords organized on the same app all of your password accounts all of your pass keys all of your codes all of your wi-fi codes so you simply search down the account that you want to see the password you simply click it and it will show you your email the website and obviously if you have the password it will show you the password but of course there are more features here so check it out it's very powerful other than that it's free which is the best part so wi-fi passwords again passwords passkeys account all of them are available here you can share them with a qr code really 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 cool very very powerful this new passwords app safari also got big changes mainly on new machine learning ai yes now you can remove ads from a website which is quite quite weird let me show you how it works first open safari then on the left hand corner of your screen there's a button this you click and then there's the hide distracting items you simply click these hide distracting items which is a very powerful tool then it will show you the screen you click whatever you want to hide so for example this page right here i click hide and boom like magic disappears you can almost make everything disappear on the website which is quite weird but the thing that makes this very very powerful again you can see completely removed is removing ads from annoying websites so you can remove these annoying ads and i don't know how this will work out for ceo ads and the future of advertising but one thing is for sure this is very powerful you can remove any type of ad that annoys you again any type of ad any type of text any type of image everything you can you can simply destroy a, a complete website with this tool insane but of course this is not affecting the website itself only your view you can of course go back and show all hidden items but this will be a big issue for advertisers guys trust me there is also new menus and new customizable menus here if you click the three bottoms at the right hand corner you have more options so all of your other options that you had before on the website on safari now it's here on these three dots if you click again the left hand corner of the screen you have now a searchable feature for every website so if you search a word that you want to find on the website again iphone for example will show you every single instance where iphone is written on their website one big thing that came to message app was rcs now you can share videos and photos with your android friends without losing any quality this is great and it's available everywhere and another thing that is also really really good is now that you can schedule messages it's insanely great <laughs> i've been asking this for a while now and i love it who doesn't right just imagine the scenario that you want to send some, something to someone and this is late at night well you simply schedule for later and even if you forget that you need to send this message it will be sent at the exact time that you want to so it's a very very powerful tool in my opinion and yeah only in ios 18 that we got this 18 generations of ios that took apple to launch this very simple but very powerful feature more fun things available now on the message app is these new effects for the text R ripple boom shake not jitter all of these are cool effects that you can send with your message that will make it even more different and unique and of course there are new reactions to message 
So they have new colors, new stickers, new images, always fun to use this and making the message app more unique. We also got the Met Notes feature from iPadOS 18 on iOS 18. So that's great to see along with a new calculator. Let me see how it works. It's simple, open notes, create a new note, a quick note, whatever, and then write the calculation, 12 plus 12, for example. And if you put an equal besides to it, it will give you the answer, 24. Very, very powerful. And even if you wanna do multiplications, very tough multiplications, equations, you can do it. It works and it's very, very cool to see in real time. Something more powerful than these improvised spreadsheets are now the calculator app. This calculator app is insane. You can have a scientific calculator, new from before, and you can also have new equations, new graphs, all the iPadOS 18 calculator things that came to iPad is now available on iOS 18. So if you wanna find more, go check out my video on iPadOS 18 and we'll see how it works. But trust me, super, super powerful features here. Bonus tip, if you wanna make your scientific calculator even bigger and easier to work on, simply turn your iPhone to the side and we'll make everything bigger with more options. You will thank me later. If you love gaming on iPhone, then rejoice. Apple added a new gaming mode to the iPhone. So this is quite cool. It focuses the iPhone's efforts on the CPU and the battery and the display side on gaming. So if you open up, you will see here game mode. Again, this is a description how it works. It's pretty cool. It will make your gaming experience even better now on the iPhone. Now that AAA title games are available on the iPhone, this is a very, very needed feature. To finish up this video, I couldn't leave without pointing out the attention of detail from Apple. Whenever you click a button on iOS now, it gives you this feedback on the software. So this was a quick tutorial showing you what are my favorite features. Obviously, there are way more, but in the last 24 hours, these were the ones that I thought were great. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. Drop back down below, subscribe to the channel, install iOS 18, and of course, enjoy it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.